Hey guys, what's going on? The Gaming Sage here, and today we're playing Spin Tires. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna gonna check out three cars today, or three trucks rather. I mean, yeah, the two jeeps—they're not really cars anymore. And obviously, that's not a truck at all. And we're gonna start off with this 1978 Jeep wagon. Pretty sure that's what it is. Um. A Wagoneer. So we'll take a look at the attachments that you can get for it. So what's that? Let's put a wheel on the back, I believe. Yep. And oh, so that's something they look like. That's like an expensive wheel or mud wheel. Let's put a wheel on the roof. Let's put one of those. Okay. So, Alright. Oh, this is what using the plane. And it's also got a jack. Okay. Well, since the bogger. It's confusing for me. We'll have a look at the wheels then. So, we got the default wheels down there. We got some Sid bogger wheels. We got some TSL Thornbird wheels. We got some boggers, some mud bogs, awesome. And we're gonna have a look at this. Now that's gonna probably be incredibly loud. So let me just quickly turn it down. Don't remember about there. Hope that works. So we'll just drive it forward. We'll have a look at what the vehicle looks like. A crow that won't shut up outside. So having a look at it, it's a very nicely detailed mod. It really is. Oh my god, that crow is annoying. Window shut can't do anything about that crow then. So yeah, it's a fairly nicely detailed mod. It really is. It looks great. Now, we're just going to drive straight along through here, diff lock and all, drive off, we'll see how far we can get. Not far, because I went into that at the complete wrong angle, but we recovered in a way. It's really weird having a quiet, because I usually play it really loud. And those wheels are just absolutely destroyed now. Well, they're not destroyed, they just need a good bloody clean. Probably a bad idea to choose yellow, I mean, jeez, colorblind, white for this, because, you know, it ain't gonna be white by the time I'm done with it. Can try and slowly accelerate forward. Okay, so. See, this is where diff lock can come in handy, because we've got this wheel here, that's, you know, spinning, not spinning at all, and this one's created a bog. Well, we didn't need it, but it would come in handy there because then you can just do that. Activate the diff lock, and they both start spinning at the same speed, and they both will up. But we'll turn it off again, and we'll see how far we can get. Got some good travel on this. What the lights look like? No, oh, lights aren't too bad. I'll leave the lights on. Oh, we're picking up some speed now right into a bog. Right here. <coughs> this isn't too difficult of a map anyway. What looks difficult? Oh. I didn't really come a difficult way. I went to difficult, I should have gone. Nah, over here. Oh, what am I doing? I'm doing something bad. Tell you what, we'll just go this way. Because it looks fun. Ooh, good travel. Oh, bit of damage. 
good travel on the wheel, so let's see if we can get up this. That did flop. No, that's not We'll try four wheel drive. Alright, uh, yeah. Yeah, need a diff and four wheel drive to go with that. But it, once they were engaged, it did it nicely. Turn diff lock off, turn four wheel drive off, turn four wheel drive back on. Oh. Yeah, it's a pretty capable machine if you give it time. But if you just want to smash through it, yeah, just turn diff and four by four on. You can go f anywhere with it. Once you get speed, turn it off. Knock over some trees. And you're good to go. That was stupid of me. Let's see how it does in this. Get into the bulldozer. Or tractor, whatever it is. Not too bad. Don't think this is the right place anyway. Yeah, it's not too bad. A little bit of a bug there. Oh, now we're really shaking. Oh. Yeah, this this thing is well made. This thing is well made. So, on average, it uses about, depending on what you have turned on. Oh, when you're gone at speed, about seven, seven liters a minute, eight. Picking up nine there. We'll see how it does in a bog. The assist turned on. Yeah, about four. Four is about the average. Rip through. Uh, 1000 damage, 300 litres fuel. So you got plenty of fuel. You got plenty of fuel. Ge the gearbox is nice too on this because I know with a lot of mods, the gearbox is fairly rubbish. Yeah, especially in automatic, they always stop in the start. And, like you get up, go into a water in gear 3, and then like it'll just say like nap and drop straight back down to gear 1, and then you won't move. <laughs> This thing gets up and goes, and it keeps going, and it changes down nicely, just like that. Then, well, we got up into gear three now. We go in the water. Gear four coming out of the water into the bog. Takes it. Oh, it stopped there. But you know that's normal back there. Yeah, some other times the gearbox is just rubbish. So I think we've probably covered this vehicle in enough mud. I think we should go check out the XJ now, the XJ crawler. So we'll just go. Now, the XJ. I think it's made by the same person, to be honest. Um, so the wheels, we got these Thornbird 40 inches, the TSL buggers, we got some IROX. I think that's how you pronounce it. We got the buggers again. We've got a barge ass spare wheel in the back. It gives us a lot of repair points. And let's get a crawler rack, which gives us all a lot of repair points. And a nice little snorkel. Alright, well. We'll go this way and we'll see how far we can get. Come on. I can spin a lot, don't they? Oh, look at that rear. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, we didn't get too far. Oh, we survived. 
I'm coasting. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well then. Well, I think we might need a rescue back to the garage after that. <laughs> oh, let's try and do that again properly. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to check out the other camera. Oh, this is this one's camera. Nothing special. Nothing special on that one. Oh, I might need to use it. Oh, first time more. Oh, we're stuck. I don't know how we got stuck there. Yeah, man. I did leave it all in automatic too, because one, you know, low is like overkill. Anyway. If you if you're stuck in low, you're gonna be stuck all together. So you know, if you're stuck in automatic, you can get out with low. Um, and two, I can't be stopped to change it. <laughs> so, oh, gotta stop there. That could have been deadly. Oh, this is soft as. Can we try and back up and take a different line? Ah, it's pretty unfair testing, you know, two different vehicles and saying, oh, the other one's better even though this one could be potentially a weaker vehicle on a harder trail. So, you know, we'll just see how far they get. This is some um, soft. This is so soft in here. Alright. Oh, I didn't want to turn on the diff. I wanted to turn on four wheel drive. Nah. I created. I created my own bog. Can we back out and then go in it again? This time with four by four on. Might need to change gear. Oh no, no, we've got traction now. We bit. Oh, we got some stuck on something. I saw that knock. It might have been that tree. Let's try and take a different line. Through here. Oh my gosh. What is it? When they say XJ crawler, do they mean like rock crawler? I mean that would make sense that you know you got the wheel and the thing that makes like 16,000 repair points or whatever it is. Kinda looks like a rock crawler too, to be honest. Not so much of a mug smasher. Mug? Mud smasher. Yes. Ah, there we go. That's steep. Jeez. Yeah, you don't definitely don't want to bring that little scout vehicle. That little default scout vehicle that you get. I think that's the A-type. Yeah. It's kind of unfortunate that between the demo and the full release that they changed the names from like the Kraz MAZ to like the Type C, Type A, Type D, whatever they are. Because, you know, it's kind of boring saying, you know, Type D. What was it like? Kraz, Maz, MAZ. Oh my gosh, this is so, so difficult. Well, this is really muddy through here. But, I think it's a fairly capable vehicle. Might have just watered it in the so, We'll see how it does in the river. We'll just take it upstream then. Can't take it downstream. Why is that already dangerous level? It's got a snow.
not doing too well. It's a pretty fast flowing stream though. Keep hitting the horn. Now I know if you stay to the outside near the bank, it's a lot slower flowing than in the middle. Wow, why did you shift up into gear four? <laughs> oh my god. That put me in a really bad spot. Why is it so fast out in the outside? Oh, because it's essentially three converging into one. Do this. Get around. Just because the water physics aren't the best. They're really good, but they aren't the best. It's a little bit weird in that area. into the middle and see if we can drown this thing. That's where we should start taking damage. But we didn't. The snorkel was completely submerged there. There's rocks there. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, this thing's like a train going through this water. Come on. And I'll also put links into for these three mods in the description even though they're on steam pretty easy to find what the heck is my controller doing that was weird well I think this is like past the G that's very capable what was the final truck change truck what are you? This. Now this thing is really cool from what I saw on the pictures. Oh, look at that detail. If only you could zoom up. That is amazing. Now what can we put on this? We can put a cart like that. What are you? Some fuel tanks? Pairs, cart two. Oh, a couple of beacons. That looks cool though, anyway. Okay. That looks cool. Ah, we'll go pick up some logs then. That? I don't understand. Because those wheels right there look heaps beefier than that. I don't know, that's weird. Um, uh, it might not be that yet. Alright. Well then we'll, we'll take this out and see how it does. I really want to see how it does on the turns, the little hills on the way down. Is there a pain? Well this thing is actually so cool. Well we won't bother with, oh no we won't, we'll see how far we can get. I want to know which wheels, so it's those two. The two rear axles, the 
axles up. Turn it. I can't tell. I think it's just the two rear axles. I don't know. What, what are you stuck on? What? You can't get up that? My bike could get up that. Radio, that was weird. What does the horn sound like? Like every other horn. That's what it sounds like. Old turning's a bit of a weird movement on this. Move, weird action. I should realise that. It's fairly odd. Oh, okay. It could do it, but it's just going to take too long. I just want to see how this goes on these turns. Now, I might do another, like, video which will come out the same week this week with this thing delivering logs because it it looks really cool with those two trailers oh we're gonna turn diff lock off we will all drive I wonder if all wheel drive, when diff lock is turned off, helps you turn quick enough. Or like in a smaller radius. Because I know diff lock helps you turn. Well, I'm not gonna say diff lock being turned off helps you turn better. Diff lock being turned on helps you turn less. <laughs> if that makes sense. It does in my head. Oh, I hate the trucks down here. I hate bringing the bloody the Type B with the garage trailer down here. Oh, because I've done that before with it and the garage has just pulled me straight off the road. Oh, turning's really weird on this thing with diff lock. It's just, just going. That's a cool engine sound too. Oh, that's deadly. That's deadly. I don't know, I think, I think having all-wheel drive would help you because it would like pull the front around. Stop you from like sliding on the front. Cool interior, little interior cam. It's on the wrong side. Well, the right side for me, the wrong side for the model. Do this little water crossing. Well, it went down those little hairpins pretty nicely. Let's see how it handles this. That's a cool little light there. On the driver's side window. Not actually on the window, but it's like a spotlight for the police use. Come on. Now I always forget is the garage it's not that one, it's the next one, isn't it? This truck sometimes struggles up this hill somewhere. Not this one though. No, actually, a really good truck. There's a the Type C, and I think we'll keep continuing.
There's a type B. There's two type Bs. This is a cool little trail. I don't think I've ever been down here before. Yeah, that was a perfectly fine road to I came through. I mean, look at the ruts that I just left on it. <laughs> oh, I ruined that road. The Russians aren't going to be happy about that. I'm sorry about the mere Putin. I didn't mean to ruin your dirt road. This looks fun. Let's turn up here. So we turn. Yes. Come on, keep going. What is this trail? Oh. 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 <laughs> well. <laughs> That seems a little ridiculous that that would do that much damage. Holy crap, it ruined the front of it. Where does this even go? I just done like a really weird. I oh, just going back the other way. Okay. The Jeep's like somewhere in there. Oh, we'll get to the field now. Now the 500 rep, it's either that this thing gets damaged way too easily or the 500 rep box is enough because that was one hit on a log. It was a fairly slow hit too. And like almost half the truck, more than half the truck's damage points are gone. I mean, if that was going a little bit faster and into a tree or something, I mean, this truck would be stuffed. Which doesn't seem that that would make sense to me. Which just doesn't seem like it. Nevertheless, it's a bloody brilliant truck. Great looking model. Drives great. Strings a little weird though, with the diff lock when you're going straight. Yeah. Hmm. Good little truck. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm the MSK Gaming Sage. I'll see you next time.